I'm Katie Cullen with Fanversation.com, and I'm here at the Animationist Film Festival opening night red carpet. Here's who we talk to tonight. I'm here with Clay McLeod Chaplin. How are you doing today? I'm amazing. This is wild. Wendell and Wild. That's where we are. Hey. Thank you for being my first pun on the red carpet. It's got to start somewhere, right? Someone's got to do it. It's perfect, though. I love it. So you wrote the book that Wendell and Wild is based on. Yeah, me and Henry. Oh, no. I'm How are you feeling? What he said. I mean... It's always the writer's dream to kind of be like, we wrote this thing, and now like maybe one day someone will make a movie out of it, and then you get to see, like, you know, if you're lucky, like someone actually does make it, and then it, you see it on the big screen. So these ideas we had are suddenly kind of manifesting themselves on the big screen, and that's, I mean, that's a dream come true. There's no two ways about it. And then you get to see it premiered in front of the audience and get their reactions, and without going into spoilers for the story, is there anything you're excited for the audience to see, both here and on Netflix when it drops? I mean, this is this film is kind of one of those perfect combinations of like funny, scary, not too scary. It's it's the kind of like perfect combo of like it's dark, but like for the whole family. So for me, like when you get in a live audience, like it's all about like having the the ability to like there are a few kind of like jump scare moments not not like like eh, eh, but like moments of like uh, and uh like those are the best to see with a live audience you just want to hear them all go ah! yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> so this is a horror film uh, this is a horror film for the whole family kind of a candy coated horror thing have you written in candy coated horror before or is this a new genre for you I, I mean, I've written a few uh, books for middle grade uh, readers, so like middle school, like younger readers. Uh, but this is, I mean, like Henry, Henry always kind of brings the mountain of Muhammad, I think. Like, you know, he's, he's amazing at kind of creating these like iconic characters that are terrifying and they like stick with you and you'll be thinking about them long after the movie is over. And um, yeah, I think we, we found a new few with uh, Wendell and Wilde. That is fantastic. I have to say I'm excited for the movie. Were there any fun behind-the-scenes stories that you haven't gotten a chance to tell yet that you'd like to tell? I mean, to a certain extent, I feel like this movie might have been cursed, where, I mean, you know, we could have that COVID conversation that just kind of, like, ground everything to a halt. There were fires, like, forest fires coming our way. Like, it's, it was, you know, at a certain point, they had to, like, shut down because the studio was, like, downwind of... And uh, there was, like, that moment of, like, are these, uh, are our puppets gonna survive the... The, this fire so yeah it was a uh, right. terrifying the fun behind the scenes story is we made it <laughs> we survived and we have a movie to show for it yeah is there what are you excited for this weekend the premiere and everything else just your just your premiere what are you interested in i mean here comes the film i mean like it's it like, audiences get to embrace it now. Like, it's all about, like, I mean, Henry has been working on this for seven years. Like, everybody involved in this has been putting in a lot of time. So I feel like now it's time to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Different animated film, but I'm here for it. Release it into the world and see what happens. Exactly. Is there anything you would like to tell the audience? Open mic. Go for it. Anything you'd like to say? Check out Wendell and Wild. I mean, it'll be on Netflix on October 28th, and it's uh, you know, get the whole family involved. It's it's a good one for it's for the youngins, but for the oldins too. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.